fecha. Y si es esa fecha y no es obligatorio, definitivamente sí. Así que... Uh -huh. Good evening, teacher. Hello, class. Good evening. Hello, hello. Feliz día, teacher. Feliz día. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Cesar. Happy Teacher's Day. Thank you, Iris Elena. Thank you, guys. You know, I really appreciate that. Happy day, teacher. Thank you. Good evening, Thank class. You. I got you. Ayuda, teacher. Huh? <laughs> I'm going to clean it. <laughs> yes, I'm like this. Estoy forzando la visa. You know, I cannot Curious. leave without my glasses. No puedo pasar sin lentes. You know, I cannot. I wish I could not wear glasses. But I need to. Okay. How are you, class? Are you okay Very today? Good. Very nice. Very, Very good. nice. Okay. Okay, just give me one second. Let me ask you, class. Sintieron esa tormenta de la tarde? Wow, it was yes. a heavy Gladys, rain. Gladys, Gladys acaba de subir un video al grupo que qué barbaridad ¿Sí? como va el agua. Ajá. O sea, no tiene energía en su casa, no, dice. Ser como que como que está en una zona vulnerable, o oh, sea, va un río no, total really? a la par de la casa de ella. Y Chalatenango no raining. No. Aquí sí. Qué raro. Listen. Santa Ana sí raining. Miren, aquí en Santa En Lourdes también. En Lourdes ha estado lloviendo. Horrible. Estuvo en Sonsonate serio. También. En Sonsonate. ¿Dónde, wow. ¿Dónde Fernando? Sonsonate. Sonsonate. Wow. All right. You know, here es Salco. Es de Salco. No, mi hijo, ya sé dónde vive el hombre. Y really? no, you no know? interesa. No, no, para que escucharas la voz que tengo. Only I like the voice, ¿ok? Hey, hey, Aleli. Ok, let's wait for your class. Y mientras vienen sus compañeros, you can express yourself. Eh, no he podido revisar el chat. You know, let me tell you, you know, it was a very complicated mm. afternoon. ¿Por qué les preguntaba? ¿Saben? There are some days, hay días que me toca ir a la oficina a trabajar. There are some days, as today, I had a go. And I was stuck in traffic for two hours. Estuve en tráfico dos horas. Dos horas, you know, it was... Y esto que no ha venido por lo urdes, porque eso estaba horrible ahora. Había volcado un trailer y horrible, horrible. Oh, no. So, that's why I really like to stay home and work from home. So... I have almost 100 messages without reading. Tengo casi 12 chats, 100 <laughs> mensajes. Wow. Si no les respondo, no sé qué tanto me han escrito. Esa es la vida de un teacher. <laughs> Imagine. Tengo tantos grupos, tantos, pero don't worry. I'm here. We are here on time. Teacher, good evening. Hi, Emerson. Welcome. Teacher, voy a estar de espectador porque tengo problemas con la energía y el servicio del internet, pues no me I conecta muy imagine. bien. Don't worry. Entiendo que hay problemas de internet por la lluvia, so don't worry. Let's see. What class is this one? This is class number. 11. 11, right? Class number 11. Okay, go, go, please. Audio. Okay, okay, go. Cool. Don't worry. I was checking. Okay, entiendo. Uh, I was checking your progress in the platform, but I'm not sure. No estoy segura si esto es actualizada información o no. But listen, I can see. Déjenme ver. Dos, cuatro, seis, diez estudiantes que ya completaron todo. Sección 1 a sección 5, todo. Muy bien. Congratulations Only to ten. all of you. But 10, imagínense, ya son 10. Para esta altura estamos muy bien. Mm. El resto de ustedes, vamos con el progreso necesario. That's okay. 
la sección 4 sí me aparecen algunos pendientes de completar, así que tenemos esta noche, mañana, todo el día y antes de finalizar la clase necesitamos completar la section number 4, ¿ok? okay. No doy nombres porque no sé si está actualizado. I'm not sure about if this information is updated. That's why. But I know you always finish on time. I don't have that problem with you guys. You're always working in these exercises and you just finish the day that it is required. So class number 11. Let me see what do we have for this class. Class number 11. But first, let me ask you. Yesterday, we were practicing about what? ¿Qué trabajamos ayer? ¿Qué practicamos? The last activity. Last activity. The third person. We were he, practicing. He and write intonation. Intonation, intonation and question. 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 Intonation. Rising and falling intonation. And we were also making questions. Very good job. Class number 11. I cannot find it. Aquí está. Let me show you the topic. So maybe you can write the topic in your notebook. On your not. Mira, aquí está. Section number four. Do you like rap? Do you like rap? And we're going to make um, questions. You've seen the simple present tense. Remember that we have two type of questions with the simple present tense. Yes, no questions. And WH questions with the auxiliary do and does. That is the topic for today. So we can conclude the topics from section number four. This is class number 11 and this is the topic. Okay, here we go. Let's go to the platform. Let's go and check the activities from the platform. Here we go. Ya estoy de regreso. Gracias. Excellent. Okay, here we go. This is your group. Free intermediate one section number four. Here we go. Bien, veamos, nos corresponde ver. Intonation in question, it's over. Who's my date? This is the exercise. Let's take a look at this one. Veamos esto. And invitations. I want you to listen to this conversation and then I'm going to have some questions about it. Okay, here we go. In this lesson, participants would listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Let's go back to the conversation. Yes, I guess it's a class. little bit. We will learn through this conversation. Sure, it's very short, the conversation. But what is the topic of the conversation? What is the main topic of the conversation? An, an invitation. An invitation. What is this invitation about? The case is the invitation. What is this type of invitation? To go to a soccer, uh, the soccer, soccer match? match? 
to a soccer match. What type of match is this one? Soccer, basketball. It's soccer match. Soccer, soccer match. Okay, soccer, soccer. match. Only soccer. Where is this match? Where is it? It's Friday night. No, um, where? Where is ah, this where? match going to ah. be? And the stadium. 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 What time is it? What time is this match? Seven. Seven. Uh, thirty. Cerca de las siete y media. Seven, seven thirty. Mm -hmm. Seven thirty. Around, around no, seven. At eight, eight, eight p.m. Eight, 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 eight p.m. What time? Uh, does uh, it start? Okay. 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 They eight, are getting eight together around seven thirty. Okay, but no, the match is going to start at. 8 p.m. Let's identify. Look, I have the first question. What time does it start? What time does it start? And I have another question with the simple present. Do you want to have dinner at six? Do you want to have dinner at six? Okay, two different questions. If you see, we have these examples when, when we're talking about like regular activities that we do most of the time. For example, you can ask, what time does the match start? Do you want to have dinner at six? These are two type of questions. So number one, si se fijan la primera, como la respondemos? What time does it start? Is this a yes, no question, or is it an open question? Number one. It's an open question. It's an open question. Exactly, because we don't know the answer. What time does it start? And what is the answer? At eight. And then we have a closed question or a yes, no question. Do you want to have dinner at six? Do you want to have dinner at six? Is he yes no. expressing with a yes or no, or with a different idea? Con que se está expresando? Si se fijan, no está diciendo ni sí ni no. ¿Qué expresión utiliza? I will like to. This is I like to. the short form of I would like to. Short form, I like. I like to, yes. ¿Qué, qué función tiene ese to después de like? Es como no expreso toda la idea, sino que me gustaría y evito repetir toda la información. I would like to. ¿Cuál sería el complemento que me hace falta? Le pregunta, do you want to have dinner at six? En lugar I de like. decir oración completa, está diciendo, I would like to have dinner at six. Para evitarme decir todo eso, corto la respuesta y digo, I like to. Me gustaría. I like to. He is referring to, I like to have dinner at six. But listen, you know what? Let's do something. Vamos a hacer algo. Let me stop sharing. I guess we have been practicing about yes, no questions and WH questions. Hemos estado practicando bastante, ¿verdad? Yes, no questions and WH questions. But for this opportunity, I'm just going to give you a quick review and then we are going to move to the last topic. Because it's a topic what, that we are going to take just uh, two classes to develop this activity. Okay, here we go. Let's have this exercise and then we can move on to a different topic. Look, yes, no questions using the auxiliary do. 
yes, no questions using the auxiliary to. I have a conversation and I'm missing some information. Remember that the first thing that we need to do is to identify the subject. Lo primero que hago es identificar sujeto para saber qué auxiliar voy a, a utilizar. Look, do you play a musical instrument? Yes, I do. ¿Cómo sé que voy a utilizar en este caso do? Si en la expresión no me dice el sujeto. ¿Cómo sé que utilizo do? How do I know that I'm going to use the auxiliary do? Any idea? Can be respuestas cortas? Yes, pero ¿cómo sé que voy a utilizar? Answer short. Because in the answer, I really have I play Very the porque en la respuesta, déjenme usar esto, porque en la respuesta ya me indica. Si se fijan en la pregunta, no me da indicio si voy a utilizar she, he, I, we, I don't know. So, in a conversation, you need to be ready to identify the subject. Because it depends on the subject, the auxiliary that I'm going to use. Look. I play the guitar. Here we have all the information that we need. Do you play a musical instrument? Yes, I do. I play the guitar. Okay. Let's see, in number two. Who is the subject in number two? Who is the subject? John. 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 I That think John, like. uh, I'm still missing. Hace falta el verbo. I'm sorry. Let me make it smaller. Tal vez hoy se cabe. Does John John like? Does John like carry underwood? Carry underwood. Yes or no? No, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. No, he doesn't. Because we are expressing a negative sentence with the third person, mm -hmm. he. No, he doesn't. John doesn't like country music. Number three. Look at number three. Let's identify the subject. Who is the subject in number three? Lisa. 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 Oh, Lisa. She. It's a girl. She. What is the auxiliary that we are going to use for the question? Do or does? Does. 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 Very good. Does. does Lisa like? Does Lisa? Does Lisa like? Does Lisa like? Does Lisa like talk show? Like yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. And what is the comment, the extra comment? She, she does. Lisa is, Lisa, is a big fan of them. It's a big fan of them. Very good job. Number four, who is the subject in number four? Kevin and I. I. Kevin Dive. and I. We. we. Listen, we. Kevin and I. I am being included. We. we. It's do. So yeah, do. Oh, muy bien. Do we watch? Do, do we watch? We watch? Do we watch the news on TV? Do okay. you? Pero si se fijan la respuesta que dice Kevin and I watch the news every night. Aquí es como 
un comentario extra de lo que estamos preguntando en sí. Do you watch? Kevin y yo, yo vemos las noticias cada noche. Entonces, no estamos preguntando en sí sobre nosotros, ¿no? A alguien más. In this do case, you we're watch. going to you. Do you. Do you watch? Do you watch the news on TV? Yes. Yes, do do. Yes, do, I do. Yes, I do. I yes, I do. No? No, Annie. Yes? Yes. I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And then we have an extra okay. comment. Do you watch the news on TV? Yes, I do. Okay. Kevin and I watch news every night. Es como okay. que le están preguntando a... A, me están preguntando a mí y yo solo agrego el comentario que Kevin también las mira conmigo. ¿okay? He watched the news every night. ¿okay? Number five. Hip hop. But I love air and V. Like, like hip hop. Like. Okay. Pero dice, but I love air and V. Again, very good job. Otra vez es una pregunta personal. Do you? Alguien me está preguntando. Hey, do you like hip hop? No. No, I don't. I don't. No, I don't. don't. No, I don't. But I love. But I love R&B. R&B. Very good. Number six. But my parents listen to a lot of classical music. Ah, okay. They are asking about my parents. So how do I make the question? Number six. They. Do they listen? Do you? Do you? They, do you? No, 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 no. Do they, you? Do you? Do you? It's a personal Sería lo mismo que la, uh -huh. lo mismo que la anterior, ¿verdad? Listen or like? No, no I don't. Listen, right? Do you listen, like listen to. Listen, us? listen to. Do you listen to? Very good. Do you listen to? Listen to. No está escribiendo, teacher. Now I'm, now I am. Do you listen to jazz? Do you listen to jazz? Listen to jazz. No, no way, John. But my parents listen to. Ah, now it's like. like Ahora tiene sentido. No, I don't. But my parents listen to a lot of classical music. Okay. Teacher, pero entonces le va a dejar el like ahí. Where? En la seis. Iris le está diciendo que listen to. Ah, que no estaba escribiendo ahí. Thank you, Fernanda. Thank you, Fernanda. <laughs> Me había dado pausa, pausar el uso, compartir pantalla. Yo, pero si ya lo escribí, what's going on? Yeah, now it's correct. Um, yeah, I don't. Ya decía yo. And I was like, no, oh, but I did it. <laughs> había pausado el compartir pantalla. Don't worry. Now it is correct. So you listen to jazz? No, I don't. If you see, algunas veces puede ser confuso. Si es que me están preguntando a mí o me están preguntando sobre mm -hmm. alguien más. But in this case, mm -hmm. it makes sense. Whenever you combine the short answer and the complement or the extra comment, now it makes sense. You know? This is how you need to make. And I motivate you to try to use advanced sentences. You know, not basic, like yes and no but try to give extra comments. In that way, you are going to sound more secure about the information and more advanced. Si se fijan, hemos estado complementando las ideas. Ya no solo nos quedamos con respuestas cortas. No, not anymore, no en este nivel. Ya ahora complementamos con comentarios extras, okay? This is what you need to do from now on. Questions about this exercise or questions about WH questions or the questions with the auxiliary do and does. Yes? No? Yes. 
Is that that is all clear or do you have questions? And it's clear. It's everything clear me. I hope so. I really hope so. You know, because we are going to have this same topic over and over. This is not the last time that you're going to be uh, using the simple present. This is like one of the most used tenses in English, no? El pasado y el presente simple de los que más se usan. All the time you are going to be using the simple present tense a lot. Okay, you say that there are no more questions about this topic. So let's go back to the invitation. Look, how do we make invitations in English? How do we make invitations in English? Any idea? ¿Cómo hacemos invitaciones en inglés? How do we make invitations? There is a specific mm -hmm. structure that we are going to use. We use will. There we go. We have an auxiliary. Ya no ocupamos do and does. Not anymore. Do and does es más que todo para preguntar sobre likes and dislikes. Ahí está. Pero utilizamos would. Would. This is the auxiliary or the word that we are going to use to make invitations. Let's go back to the videos and check what is the formula ab about this. Aquí tenemos el video. Here we go. But let me see. Sí, aquí está. La traducción sería gustaría, quisiera. Algo así es la traducción o esa, mejor dicho, es la traducción de would. Would you like, te gustaría, quisieras. Would you like to go to the movies with me? Te gustaría ir al cine conmigo. Would you like to have a hamburger for dinner? Quisieras tener o quisieras comer hamburguesas para la cena. Gustaría, quisiera. Esa es la traducción. Now, let's go and watch this information. Here we go. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of word in questions and answers. Remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to? Well, now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would. Verb plus two plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction. I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus two plus verb plus complement. Examples. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus two plus verb, comma, but, plus. Examples, I would love to go to her new house, but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. Okay, probably the structure or the formula, it can be a little bit confusing. Puede ser un poco complicada, but don't worry. I prefer you to practice making sentences and not trying to memorize the formula. Is it better if you go and practice and you understand with real sentences and not by memorizing the formula? If you see would, it's used to make invitations. 
And here I have some examples, the same as the video, about invitations. Look at this invitation. Would you like to go? Would you like to go out on Friday? And we can have, in this case, two types of answers. Yes, I would. 100% seguro. Yes, I would. Or we can also have, yes, I love to, like another response. Okay? Podemos tener una respuesta corta o también otra forma, la que le complementamos. Yes, I love to. Thanks. This is the two ways, or there are many ways in which we can say yes, accepting. Accepting invitations. Look, accepting. Estoy aceptando. Okay, let me write it again. This is too small. In the first examples, I am accepting to the invitation. Look, no tengo problemas para aceptar la invitación. On the contrary, in these examples, I am not accepting, I am refusing the invitation. Would you like to go to a concert? I would like to, but I have to work late. I like to, but I need to save money. I like to, but I want to visit my parents, you know? De las tres respuestas, ¿cuál los convence más? ¿Cuál sería la cierta? Would you like to go to a concert? ¿Cuál creen ustedes o cuál creerían ustedes? Number one, two, or three. I like Number to go, well, I have to work two. late. <laughs> La primera. Uh, but you the know, part. the concert is on the Sunday. Second one. Pero el concierto es el domingo. Ah, entonces. Ah, entonces la segunda. <laughs> no tengo dinero. I need to pay money. Uh, but I'm going to pay, pero yo voy a pagar. I need to, I'm going to pay, don't worry. Ah, pero I like la to comida to ¿Ah? I like to, but I want to be with my parents. Tráigalos también. <laughs> But you live with your parents. To, to no quiero ir. Ah, there we go. So if you see, in English is not polite. No es amable decir no de una sola vez. Ah, pero sería más sincero, teacher. <laughs> okay, yeah, right. Pero es si le digo, excusa. would you like to go to a concert? No. Okay. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, no, right? Y más si no nos gusta de quién es el concierto. No, okay. We don't want to hurt. Bad Bunny, teacher. Yeah. Bad Bunny. Would no, you like to bacala. To, to Bad Bunny's concert? No. No, thank you, thank you, thank you. No, no, no. no. But I'm going so, to pay. Do you like to go to concert Arjona? Arjona? Ajá, to Arjona. Yes. Ajá, yes. Okay. Go. I go. <laughs> so, what are, we are uh, trying to do. Hacer una yeah, please. Aleli, good. Do you like to go to a concert, <laughs> Fernando? Ay, no. Qué molestan <laughs> ustedes, hombre. Depende de qué ranchera cante. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what are we trying to do? Si se fijan, tratamos de ser amables, polite. No decir no, just right away. Y la tres, la importante, not to hurt people's feelings. No dañar los sentimientos de las personas, ¿no? Sé que en español somos bien directos. No, decimos no y ya. Ah, pero en inglés nos gusta dar vuelta, ¿ok? Y decir, you know, I have to work late. I need to save money. I want to visit my parents. Even though they sound or they may sound as excuses. Me suena a Pero es como dar esperanza al pobrecito que le está invitando, teacher. Really? Mm. Sí. Él no. dice, entonces queda abierta la posibilidad de que vaya al concierto y, y realmente no, no quiero ir. 
<laughs> okay, so this is what we are going to do today. We are going to practice on how to say no in a polite way. Les muestro cómo lo hacemos. We have two ways of saying no. Tenemos que aprender a decir no solo no. ¿Por qué? Porque si no, es como muy pesado. Um, let me see. Where are they? Okay, I don't have the pictures right here. ¿Dónde están estas pictures? In English, we have um, formal and informal ways of saying no. Okay, it depends on the person who is asking or who is making the invitation. For example, if it is someone that is not your friend, you cannot say no just right in the moment. You are going to try to say no, but in a different way. Les muestro. Por ejemplo, ¿qué dirían si su jefe o su jefa, I don't know, your boss, is inviting you to go to a party on Friday night? Pero no le tengo confianza a mi jefe. ¿Cómo le diríamos que no? Your boss is inviting you to go to a party. I will say Friday night. Yes, tell me. I'd like to, but I have. ¿Cómo se dice estudiar? That is I, I, I need to study, you know, for the exam. I have to study. Okay. Otra idea. Any other idea? No eres tú, soy yo. <laughs> How do you say that in English? <laughs> You know, I would really like to go, but I cannot dance. Oh, I have other invitation. Oh, thank you for your invitation, but I already have plans. You know, I have another invitation. Yes, Any with my idea? husband. With my husband. No, I'm sorry. Okay. Any other idea? Alguien más? Me da una respuesta para eso. How do we say no? I would like to, but I have class at night. Oh, that is a great, great answer. I would like to, but I have class at night. How about boys? Los chicos no han hablado. What would you say? Only Elvis, he said no. Y son los más pinochos. ¿Qué dirían ustedes? What would you say? I would like to, but viernes uh, de cerveza. But say that in English, <laughs> in English, not Spanish. Go. Uh, Friday is beer. <laughs> okay. But you can have some beers at the party. Probably your boss is going to say. Friday, Friday is karaoke. But you can have karaoke in the party. Try to give another excuse. Teacher. Yes. I would like to speak now, but I have problems internet. Oh, okay. You see, I would like to. Very good. Me encantaría, me gustaría. There we go. Now I have the pictures. Yes, sir. Y cuando decimos I would love, no sería también como me encantaría. Sí, es similar. A María, creo que es a María. Me encantaría. Es como, sí, creo que más convincent, right? So now I have the pero, pictures. Pero ¿cómo sería más correcto? I will love or I will, or I will, I will like. I guess it depends. Creo que es, depende de la formalidad. Uh -huh. Si es un amigo cercano, Mr. podemos decirle a ah, María, uh, yes, I would love to go. Pero si es más formal, I would like. Me gustaría ir. I guess Yo, that is the same. Yes, right. Eh, estaba un día leyendo un libro de inglés, ¿verdad? Yes. Eh, tiene bastante gramática. Y vi que el auxiliar would es más que todo un futuro condicionado para el verbo. Un auxiliar de futuro condicionado. Uh -huh. En realidad sí, se usa porque no estamos seguros en este caso de si sí o no va a pasar. ¿okay? Por eso es futuro. Por ejemplo, Condicionado. Y, 
I would work sería trabajaría. Yes. Mm -hmm. I would work. I guess. I'm not sure. Por ejemplo, van a trabajar el siguiente domingo. I don't know, teacher. So I guess I would work on Sunday. I'm not sure. But it can be a, a probability. So now look, I see a last thing. Excellent. Esa es la estructura, okay? Casual or not that informal. Casual ways to decline invitations in English. And this can be a, a very good practice. So you can have extra vocabulary. If you see the first one, the first expression is, sorry, can I say check? Can I say check? This is a very common and very uh, used expression in real life. ¿Qué sería es eso? No hay una traducción mm. literal, pero en sí significa que we reprogram, que we move the date. Podríamos mover la fecha, podemos reprogramarlo. Sorry, can I take a rain check? Es como... No es que iba a chequear la, si iba a llover o no, por rain check. No, no. So that is the meaning. Can I take a rain check? Mm -hmm. Es como, déjame ver, o sea, déjame revisar. Podemos reprogramar. No es algo seguro al 100%. Mm -hmm. Veré mi agenda. Algo así. Ajá, podemos, o sea, no estoy seguro. Can I take a rain check? I'm sorry, but... I have other plans that day. Como decía Leli, I'm sorry, but I have other plans that day. Thanks for thinking of me, but I have other things going on that day. You know? I really wish I could make it, but I'd be unavailable that whole day. El día completo. So there's no options. What I like from these expressions is that we are being empathetic, empathetic with people. I'm sorry, empathetic. Estamos siendo empáticos porque decimos al inicio, sorry, I'm sorry. Thanks for thinking of me. I really wish I could make it. Desearía, en serio deseo, o desearía poder lograrlo. Entonces, cuando tratemos de decir un no, seamos... En este caso, eh, amables con las personas. Sorry, I'm sorry. Thank you for inviting me. Thanks for thinking of me. An expression like those, like those ones. Look, now we have formals. Ahora, ahora sí formales. Depende de la persona. Mi jefe, alguien que no le tengo confianza. ¿Cómo le digo que no? Palabras más rebuscadas. I appreciate the invitation but I won't be able to go. I'm very busy that week. So I won't be able to join you. Thank you very much for the invitation, but unfortunately I can make it. Thank you for extending the invitation to me, but I'm not available that day. Okay? Son como algunas ideas. Para que ustedes tengan extra vocabulary. Les comparto estas imágenes en WhatsApp. Vamos a irnos a los grupos. Let's go to the groups. Quiero que inventen. Make invitations. La idea es que sus compañeros les digan que no. De una forma amable. ¿Ok? Make any type of invitation. Dejen volar su creatividad. Y que le digan que no. De una forma amable. Amable, porque decir que sí está fácil. Yes, I would. Ahí se acabaría la conversación. No. Make your classmates say no. Ya les comparto las expresiones. Vamos a los grupos. Teacher, estoy en dos dispositivos. Ok, ya Pero lo, no lo vi. Don't worry. Ahorita. Thank you. Okay. Make invitations. Please. Let me see. César. 
En la 2. En la 2 y en la... ¿Y sí. qué otra le aparece? Ahí está, en sala 2. Vamos. Pero... No, pues sí, solo la sala 2. Está bien. So let's, yeah, let's go. Make invitations, please. There we go. Okay, I'm just missing Edwin and Ana Gabriela. Ok, speaking Hola. time. Speaking time. Hola de hablar, ok. Hagan invitación. Speaking time. Here we go. Let me listen to you. Hola, Ricardo. Only have Jeremías en el car. Vaya, make invitation. Yeah. Se nos fue Karina. Yeah, right. Creo que está teniendo problemas de internet. But try to do it with you, okay? Between you, go please. Okay, Ricardo. Okay, Edgardo, puedes comenzar tú. Oh, <laughs> Uh -huh. In English, please, <laughs> not Spanish. <laughs> Go, please. Hi, a ver, What were you telling? Okay. Ah, okay. ¿Cómo sería? Okay. Okay, yo. <laughs> Would you like to go? Um, to go my my party on Monday, dijo. Uh -huh, uh -huh, on Monday. Oh, thank you very much for the invitation, but Monday I working. You're you're welcome. So, God, <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Now, you, Edwin, would you like to go to Irma's party on Monday? <laughs> okay, yes, I would. <laughs> it's a boy, you? <laughs> it's a party, <laughs> Edwin. Yeah, it's a boy. Yeah. Um, uh, thanks, but I study for, for my exam. Of mathematics. Okay, okay, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> Now, Isabel, make an invitation, please. Mm, would you like to go more on Saturday? Your response. Where is the girl? Okay. I, I would love to go your invite and thank you for thinking for me and but I can go uh, I will be busy. I will listen. Okay. Ya más o menos. Ya más o menos. Ahora a la invitación, Brian. Um, I would like to invite uh, my meeting in the park. My meeting in the park. Mm -hmm. I would like to, but uh, no money. <laughs> but no money. 
Sí, la compañera, ¿qué dice? Um, I would like to go, um, but I can't. All right. Ahora puede usted right. preguntar, César, ¿a qué nos quiere invitar? Um, Would you, like, you like to go uh, to go out uh, um, in the, in the, all, on Sunday uh, the, the play soccer? Pero de lo contrario, no entiendo qué es lo que están diciendo. No. <laughs> Teacher. Estamos hablando que no entendemos. <laughs> Would you like to go to beach in the weekend? Ah, sure. Why not? <laughs> claro que sí. Vaya, fíjense clase. Este, don't worry, aquí estoy. Aprovechemos que estamos en el grupito reducido. Expresen eh, dudas, comentarios para poder ayudarles. Sí, hablábamos con Elvis y Eduardo eh, que nos, bueno, en lo personal les decía que me cuesta como comprender uh -huh. eh, cuando la persona está hablando, porque digamos ahorita como la escritura, al traducirlo leyéndolo, sí, sí sé pero me cuesta mucho entenderle, si digamos ahorita yo me puedo platicar con usted y no tengo ahí como la, la escritura o algo no le voy a comprender bien ah, entonces okay. no sé cómo ¿Cómo se podría ir practicando esa parte para nosotros ir, como irme de, de, como de, decirlo, desprendiendo de la escritura para poder comprender más y poner atención? Ok, there's just one way. Solo hay una forma, practice, listening. Saben que la base de aprender un idioma es al escucharlo. Cualquier idioma se aprende por escucharlo. Pero nosotros tenemos que quitarnos el miedo de necesitar la información, de leer. ¿Por qué en este nivel ya se quitaron los subtítulos de los videos? Para forzarlos a entender uh -huh. lo que están explicando. Entonces, la única forma, Jessica, es escuche una, otra y otra y otra vez los videos. ¿Qué se va a captar? Por lo menos la idea principal. Dos, eh, estar en contacto con el idioma. Escuche canciones, videos, hay tantas aplicaciones que me sirven para reforzar también vocabulario, porque entre más vocabulario tengo, más fácil voy a entender. Si yo no tengo vocabulario, no lo voy a entender. La base de un idioma es uno, tomémoslo como un triángulo. Uno sería vocabulario, la otra parte gramática, pero la parte principal, la base es la confianza. Si yo no me quito el miedo, a escuchar inglés o a acostumbrarme solo a leerlo, no va a funcionar. Así que, Teacher, ánimo, Jessica. Yes, el... ¿Y en qué momento, al menos en su caso, porque ya estábamos hablando que nos pasa, que uno para responder una pregunta primero la piensa en español, la traduce en la mente para después decirla. Yes. ¿En qué momento deja uno de pensar en español? Vale, les soy honesto. Fíjense que en mi caso yo no aprendí inglés desde pequeña. Yo me fui a la universidad con ser inglés. Imagine, no, ni sé por qué estudié esto. En mi caso fueron cinco años de mi carrera y eh, me forzaron a aprenderlo cero español, no como en este caso que yo me expreso con ustedes en español. Cero español y yo lo llegué a entender, a comprender casi a mi segundo año de universidad. Que yo ya no tenía miedo de no leerlo o las estructuras y me he aprendido tanto si sí es cierto soy maestra pero no como estudiante me memoricé todas las fórmulas le llaman acá pero son las estructuras como una pregunta a ah, auxiliar más sujeto más verbo más ing cosas así traten de hacer lo mismo identificar la estructura o cuando ustedes lean una expresión en inglés traten de identificar la gramática eso ayuda también bastante y otra forma que a mí me ayudó también, como les mencionaba, es aprender vocabulario. Cualquier palabra nueva, en este caso, si se fijan, ahorita estamos aprendiendo would, que significa quisiera o la otra no, es gustaría. gustaría. Hagan oraciones las que se les ocurra. 
voy y me hago 10 oraciones con invitaciones. Solo así, ustedes van a guardar esa información, esas preguntas ya elaboradas y a la hora de escucharlas no se les va a ser más difícil. ¿Ok? Y no se rindan. Nadie es experto. Todos estamos en el mismo nivel en este curso. ¿Ok? Es lo peor decir no puedo o que me dé miedo. Que el miedo no nos piensa. Así que Jessica, ánimo. Eduardo en Elvis as well. Participen. Hablen. Yo quisiera que todos que se pelearan para participar. Pero les da miedo. Perdamos el miedo. ¿Ok? Pierdan el miedo. That's it. So, Thank vámonos. Tenemos tres minutos. Tres minutos. You're welcome. Let's go back. Okay, time to come back. I was listening to some of the invitations. Esperemos a los compañeros. Let's wait for your classmates. Here we go. Okay, time to come back. Probably you now have the idea about this topic, but as I was mentioning before, we are not going to finish with this topic today, no. We still need to practice tomorrow with the same topic because this is a topic that it takes some time for you to understand and also to be able to make responses, right? Este no es un tema de una hora, por eso lo voy a cubrir en dos horas, para que ustedes sepan cómo hacer una invitación, pero la parte más esencial, decir no a una invitación, ¿ok? Politely, right? And let me see what time is it. Oh my God, it's almost time to finish. You know, tomorrow we are going to have that topic. And we are going to make a review. Vamos a hacer también un repaso detenido. Please, be ready to ask me. That is my role. That is my job to help you. But if I ask you, do you have questions? And you say no. I'm going to continue with a different topic. And I'm going to move on and move on with another activity. But if you say, teacher, can you help me with this question? I'm going to make a stop. And I'm going to explain. Okay? Eso sí quiero que les quede claro. Sí, me es, necesario, me es necesario corregir, corregir y corregir. Si no, nadie más los va a corregir y vamos a tener dudas siempre. Okay? Así que pregunten. No tengan miedo de participar porque la corrección en la clase es donde se tiene que hacer. Okay? Vamos, today is the 22nd, right? I'm ready. Please say here or present if you listen to your name. Aleli Concepcion. I hear teacher. Ana Gabriela. Ana Karina. No. Ana Estefan. But Ana Gabriela is there. Ahí está Ana Gabriela. Ana Stephanie is in the class. No. Andrea Isabel. I'm here, Miss. Hi, Andre. Brian Edwin. Hi. Happy Teacher's Day. Hey, thank you so much. Brian Edwin is in the class. Brian Isaac. Present. Carlos Eden. Cesar Alexander. Present teacher. Cristelia Rosalina. Present. Daisy Magdalena. Present teacher. Edgardo Antonio. Present teacher. Eduardo Elías. Present teacher. 
Edwin Ernesto. Present teacher. Elvis Aníbal. Present teacher. Emerson Alexander. Present. Fátima Esmeralda. Present teacher. Fernando Arturo. Gabriela Lisset. Present. Gladys Elizabeth. Glenda Abigail. Present teacher. Liz Elena. Here Miss. Irma Raquel. Present. Isabo Elizabeth. Present teacher. Yasmin Ivonne. Present teacher. Jeremías Ezequiel. Present teacher. And Jessica Janet. Present teacher. Okay, there we go. So Gladys glad. Gladys is the one who didn't have light, teacher. Gladys, right? Gladys, she's the one. Okay. I'm going to check the chat right now. Voy a revisar los mensajitos. So let's stop the class here and we are going to continue with the same topic tomorrow, okay? Have a great night class. Thank you so much for coming and participating. See you tomorrow. Good night. Okay. Good night. Bye, bye. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.